All right, good afternoon. We're going to continue our media availability. We've now been joined by the NASCAR Xfinity Series points leader, Ty Dillon, driver of the number three Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet. And Ty, uh, Talladega is a place that has a lot of memories for for your family. Um, talk a little bit about what it means to come back to Talladega and race this weekend. Yeah, it's uh, this place is definitely special to us and our company. We've won a lot of races here. And, uh, for me personally, I... Um, I got one of my first ARCA wins here um, and did it in kind of the Talladega fashion. I was able to beat Frank Kimmel down the front stretch and, and just edge him out at the finish line. So um, I love super speedway racing. I've, I've always loved the history and, and the things that have gone on in the past. And so uh, every time we come to one of these racetracks, I feel like it's an opportunity for me to win and, and run well. We, uh, we were very strong in Daytona. And they got a lot of experience being able to run all the races there. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, our opportunity we have today with our Bass Pro Chevy, or tomorrow. And then also looking at um, the points battle, um, are you a driver who watches the points, or do you just kind of let those fall where they do and then, then look at them after the weekend's over? It's hard not to, to look at the points. I feel like every year I've, I've raced in, in any kind of NASCAR series, I've, I've been either first or second throughout the year in the points, and you're always worried about the battle. So you know, it's just part of it. Um, but. You know, it's not like a thing where I'm worried about every single weekend, making sure we get every single point. You know, that's the ultimate goal. But uh, the main focus, no matter what, is to win the race. And if you can go out and win the race every weekend, you don't really have to worry about points. All right. Well, go ahead and take questions for Ty. If you have one, please state your name and affiliation. Anyone want to start? Okay. Kenny, go ahead. Here it comes, Kenny, right behind you. Kenny Bruce with NASCAR.com. Ty, what is it specifically that you like about competing here, but in restrictor plates in general? I mean, what is it that's... Um, yeah, I've, I, throughout my career, I've always been kind of an aggressive style racer, and um, these places really kind of fit my style. I like being able to, as soon as the, the flag drops, to go wide, go as hard as I can go and, and get as many positions, and um, that style has always kind of suited me really well when we go to, to restrictor plate tracks and to where I can uh, be aggressive with the moves I make and get myself to the front and, and try and stay out of trouble. And... Um, for whatever reason, it's worked out for me pretty well in the past, and, and I've had some really good finishes at some of these racetracks, and um, it's kind of my mentality when I race every weekend, and, but it uh, really seems to play out well here. Is it, is it dangerous to learn how to race well on a restricted plate race on track? Because if you try something and make a mistake, you can have... Yeah, definitely, and, and you know, I, I've, I've made a couple mistakes that, at some restrictor plate tracks um, not being aggressive, and I think that was one of the biggest things that I've, I've learned. My first couple uh, Xfinity races at um, some restrictor plate tracks, I think I kind of backed off a little too early thinking that a crash was going to come, and it didn't happen. I got had some, some bad finishes and actually ended up getting myself in more trouble. And the races that have been more aggressive, I've been able to stay out of trouble, stay in front of them, stay in the front of the pack. Um, and it seems to, to, for whatever reason, it sounds funny, but it works out a little bit better that way. All right, we'll go to Stan. Stan Creekmore with RPM tonight. Ty, from a fan standpoint or media standpoint, it appears that qualifying is the least most important thing about, about this race. Um, where you start doesn't matter. What does qualifying mean to you as a driver at a place like Talladega? I think qualifying anywhere, you always want to be on the pole. That means you're the fastest car of the weekend. And uh, especially at a place like Talladega and Daytona, it means a lot for your guys and your team, the guys back at the shop. It's a huge morale booster. Um, and, and we today we focus solely on qualifying. Um, and, and we know as a team from firsthand experience in Daytona, we qualified 32nd and we're leading the lap 16. So we know it's not the most important thing, but uh, it means a lot in kind of a different realm as far as morale for your team. And, and you can kind of beat your chest around there for a little bit while you're the guy on the on the front row or on the pole. But uh, all in all, you know the, these these races are kind of. Um, it, it all matters and, and when the green flag drops and, and, and qualifying is, you know, it, it's part of it. You know, your sponsors and everybody gets great attention for it, but uh, you really got to have a car that you can race good. Thank you. All right, additional questions for Ty? Okay, Kelly. 
Kelly Crandall from popularspeed.com. Ty, you mentioned after Bristol how your team was kind of down a little bit because you knew you had to get better and the confidence kind of went away. Where, where's been the focus? What are you guys looking at that, that you've pinpointed that, that you know you have to get better at? Well, uh, I think the, the two races uh, that we kind of, you know, was a little disappointing for us were, were California and um, I think Texas. And we just didn't have the runs, and, and the whole weekend didn't go as strong as, as what we wanted and what we expect from our team. And we had things go wrong in practice, and, and which would set us back getting into qualifying. Then we'd get into qualifying, and we'd have something set us back. And, and then we'd get in the race, and we just weren't at the, the, the spot where our team should be starting a race. And we'd have to battle hard all, all night long through the races. And, uh, you know, we would end up ninth or tenth or, or, or in position that we feel like in our second year we shouldn't be in. And we came to Bristol, and we didn't have any issues in practice. We didn't have any issues really in qualifying. We didn't qualify exactly where we wanted to. But as soon as we dropped the green flag, we went straight to the front and, and had a good opportunity of, of winning the race. Um, had a couple of restarts on the bottom and kind of got shuffled back. But uh, had, a, had a good finish and, and did what we knew we could do throughout this year. And, um, and we went to Richmond and, and, and had a decent finish at a place that we've struggled at uh, in the past. But uh, I think when we can start getting to where we, we unload good and, and have strong practices, have strong qualifying efforts, and I think that will make our race program uh, as a team get even better and better and hopefully add on to the points lead. Right. Continue questions with Ty. Any final questions? Ty, we appreciate you coming in today, and we wish you the best of luck this weekend. All righty, thank you. Thank you.